talked about management. Okay. Yes. And understanding how a simple Haney test here. Okay. Knowing your carbon to oh, nitrogen. Yeah. Seeing if there's going to be a benefit. Sure. Right. I mean, what is this test? Fifty five dollars. Yeah. Fifty five dollars to find out you had thirty five or thirty pounds of nitrogen. Right. I mean, that's huge. Absolutely. But not only that is, you know, your carbon to nitrogen ratio is good. Yes. Or fair. I mean, yeah, within reason. And we're going to sit here and say, you know what? You could probably actually front load a little bit here and be okay. Okay. Now, if your carbon to nitrogen ratio was eight, eight to one. Okay. Don't do it. No. Got it. You could go backwards. Okay. Um, so that's where, gosh, a $55 test just to know that. It's huge. It is you huge. Know. And there's a lot of other information oh, there. Oh, yeah. I it's mean, fascinating to see inorganic and organic. Yes. Um, just, just the different forms. Yes. was fascinating. And we're not sponsored by Regen. No. Okay? No. Like, <laughs> this is just fa- information well, that I, go, I have found yeah. very helpful on my farm. Yeah. You have, too, and the yeah. farms that you, you scout for. Yeah. I mean, gosh, I've got a list of labs that I work with. Yeah. You know, and it's... Everyone has their niche, you know, and this, yeah. this is just one niche. That's what you have, and that's where we're reading the data from. Right. You know, like you said, we're not sponsored. It's just it's a good product, and we like the numbers that we're getting out of it. Yeah. You know, so. Um, the numbers I got out of it helped me make a financial decision on my farm, financial slash agri- agronomic decision on my farm, that saved me much more than $55. Yes. Way more than $55. So... I don't know. I'm a data guy. Oh, hundred percent. I, I love learning this and watching cycles, yep. you know, because things change so much and it's cool to see, like you said, just the pH around the rhizosphere of a plant can change a couple points. Yes. It's like, wow, that's crazy. So the pH in the root zone, it could be one thing. And in between on corn could be another thing. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. You know, anyway, so. Well, and this is, Way reverse, yes. but it's okay. But you talk about the rhizosphere pH change. Yeah. One thing to kind of tie into that one pot, that first podcast was that rhizosphere is going to unlock micros for you. Okay. So you think about it, you go back to that test that we had the two podcasts ago, I think, is you see the number of iron, you see the number of manganese, and they are just tanked. Yep. You go over to where the pH was, high, or sorry, the pH was lower, because the majority of that field was like a seven. Let's just say seven five, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's showing that you have no iron, no manganese. You go over to the areas that are five five. You got good iron numbers and good manganese numbers. Yeah, that means it's there. Okay. Okay. So what that plant is doing, the reason why he's probably not seeing iron chlorosis across that whole field, is the roots themselves are making their own rhizosphere. To release those micros. Interesting. And this was like... Through exudates? Through exudation. Okay. So Hmm. it just tells me, you know, because... And that's why there's so many... It doesn't matter if you do a traditional test. If you do a Haney test, there's parts that you're always going to be missing. It's just the honest truth. Yeah. I mean, it's just... It is. You know, so it's understanding what... I mean, Mother Nature can can handle those things too. Mm -hmm. So that was one thing that I caught on to... Gosh, maybe it's because I'm wet behind the ears still. But it's interesting to see a soil test, and then you take a tissue test, and there is, like, no correlation none, at all. None. Like, this this plant should be low in X, Y, and Z. Like, guaranteed, it should be. Right. And then you take the tissue test, That's and those good. are those are your best numbers. And yeah. you're just like... How? Right. You know, and that's why we need to understand plants more. And, it, and it not only is it there, is it actually usable by the plant? Right. A plant is just a grade <laughs> card of what's going on in the soil. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, that's why you go back to, like, principles. And that's why I like the C-to-N ratio. Is the principles are there to help you decide when you need to apply nitrogen. Or how should you apply nitrogen. Sure. Or knowing how much, to- how much should you be applying. Or... If you have, let's just say, 30 to 50 pounds of organic nitrogen, that's the same as split applying almost. I mean, not a one-to-one, but it could be darn similar. Sure. You know, because it's going to slowly release as the bacteria start processing that carbon that's on the nitrogen. Is there any way to know how... There's going to be so many factors. 
if you've got that nitrogen there, how long is it going to take the biology to release that? Can the plant get most of it in a growing season? Oh, Half I would say it? I would say most of the time they're going to get most of it. Okay. Um, with that being said, each I'll, type, obviously each biology type. your your biology yeah. life is going to change. Your that. carbon to nitrogen ratio is going to change that. The, your growing the form, season, the form that you use is going to change that. Sure. You know, I mean, there's lists out there that if you have uh, AMS sixty day release. UAN 21 days release. I mean, each form has their release when they're at peak release yeah. too. And it's also, yeah, there's a lot of moving factors there. Yeah. But if you utilize your carbon to nitrogen ratio to tell you how to operate in the beginning, it's, it's huge. Or what should you do or what you should for sure not do. Right. You know, there's stuff in the middle that you and I could argue all day long, which is better. Mm -hmm. you can bring the logistics, I can bring the agronomics and we can argue about it. But then there's some things like your carbon to nitrogen is eight to one. There's no reason for you to go apply 200 pounds and just fling it out there. Cause of what's, nitrogen, what's going to happen. It's going to, the system's going to collapse. Okay. Cause you don't have enough carbon to support the soil life anymore. So is that when you start seeing lots of leaching, um, things of that nature, I mean, denitrification, possi possibly that, I mean, I just see it as lack of performance, <laughs> you know, okay. you know, just, so just not getting it in the plant. Well, yeah, you're just not, uh, you're not seeing that return on investment anymore. Yeah. You know, like when I said the lowest I've seen is like a seven to one. Okay. It just tells you how you need to manage now. Yeah. I'm not going to sit there and say, wow, you got a seven to one. Sure. I, I don't know if we can fix that. No, it's, this is how we manage it. And this is how we start moving forward from it. Okay. You know, guys, if you've liked the information that you've seen so far, go ahead and check out the full length podcast on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe there. It's also on all the major plat podcast platforms. Um, we're constantly dropping info and more content on all the social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Check it out for a lot more content.